Hello and welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Alphabet. That is right, this is Exploring the Alphabet and not Shaun of the Dead, even though I look like a complete zombie. But there's a good reason why I look like a zombie. It's because it's 4am right now. I set off from my house at 1am, which means I've had zero sleep and I've been up nearly 24 hours. Luckily, I've made it here, not sure how, but... It does mean that I am going to have a really nice sleep on the flight. But we are on letter H. I should have really done H for Hull in my hometown and used my brain. But no, we're jumping on another flight. And um, I'm going to take you into the airport right now. Mm, well, mainly because I don't want to miss the flight. But I am excited to show you where our next trip is going to be. We're at Stansted Airport again. I'll be on first names terms with these people soon. And we're going to the capital of Finland, Helsinki. Um, didn't even know it existed, to be honest with you, until I booked it. So should be an adventure for us all. One thing I have been thinking though, I went and filmed the last episode three days ago in real time. I know it was two weeks ago for you, but in real time, it was only a few days ago for me. Now, will the border control stop me at some point on this service and say, what are you up to, Mr. Man? Because you didn't go away from Ju July 2023 until the next year, and suddenly you're going to 26 different countries. What, what are you playing at? I think that's gonna be, that is gonna be a thing. They'll think I am a lord. Cause I, Cause I look like one, don't I? I look like a typical lord, anyway. Need to get me uh, the stuff I've smuggled from my bag. We have landed in Helsinki Airport, probably the biggest airport I've ever had to um, come through. It took me about, well, I had to walk about five miles to get through the other side. The flight was really fast because I slept all the way through it. In fact, the um, air stewardess actually woke me up um, at the end of the flight and she was shaking me and it felt like I'd just closed my eyes. And I said, is the flight over? Is the, is the pilot finish? And she said, no, he's not finished. He's, he's German. <laughs> the Finland jokes have started. What do you think? Do you know what has shocked me? The weather here, look into the distance. It's literally snowing now and it is thick snow. Well, not thick snow, but there's, there's, there's quite a lot of it. We are two hours ahead here as well. Um, so that's weird, I've lost two hours in my day, but I'll get them back tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out where I'm going and what is first. Snowball at you. Alright, I've just come across a railway station. Now I'm guessing one of these must go to Helsinki Centre. But I just don't know which one. Do you know when you come away, whenever you're trying to use public transport, there's never just one that says Helsinki Centre or Barcelona Centre. It always has like it's always the areas. Like Itaki sus and stuff like that like how am i meant to know so i think it's going to be just another case of you know jumping on a random one and hoping on your apple maps it drives in the right direction but we are going underground going underground the floors are sticky and the seats are damp every platform has a yeah it's 2024 now we can't sing that song no joke, this is this is the fourth giant escalator that I've been on. 
Oh, it's actually saying I'm at the railway station now. Look at these weird walls, though. I must be so deep under the ground. And do you know what the weirdest part is? There's not a person in sight. It's literally just, just Joe catching the train. So unless there's none running or something, I'll probably have to go all the way back up in a minute. That'll be, that'll be fantastic. At least the out steps. Do you know what I mean? I'm not tiring myself out. <sighs> right, it's weirdly quiet. I'm not... It's not passing the vibe check. Maybe I've just missed like the last trains or something. Look at this, it's like a ghost town. This is, do you know what? This is the capital city as well. Like how is the train station this empty? I went on Google, found out what ticket I needed and I bought it only four euros, so that's a bargain. I asked a police officer which train I get on with this ticket. She said, oh, you can get on any of them because they all go to Helsinki just in different directions. I was like, oh, all right then, that's a bit, it's a bit weird. But this is the first one, so I'm just going to jump on it and hope for the best. See you in Helsinki City Centre. Come on the gang. Well, I really missed a trick, because even though the train got us here, we could have had our second free ride of the series, because I paid four euros for a ticket to sit in my pocket and nobody to bloody ask for it. They must be extremely well behaved in Helsinki though, because nothing, oh, we have a jaywalker. I was just, oh, everyone's jaywalking now. They've gone against the grain. They've gone against the morals. What? Oh, there's a few sticking by them. What I was going to say was, I've been stood at the edge of this road for about 10 minutes. The lights hadn't come on and not one car passed, but no one was jaywalking. But now everyone is, so I'm going to join in. Oh, we're doing a double whammy. Don't mind if I do. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> you are a bad boy. You are a bad boy. You are a very bad boy. Well, the day is officially beginning. Exploring the alphabet. Letter H is open. So, we always start with a couple of fun facts. And I've got a couple of facts, and um, one of them is that Helsinki is called the White City of the North because apparently all its buildings are white. Although since they got that title, they must have done some painting because all I can see is yellow buildings. It is also the happiest city in the world. It's been voted the happiest city in the world for the last six years which is also quite confusing for me because everybody looks so sad. Everyone's eyes are almost like they're going to cry. But I don't know if it's because it's snowing and it's super cold. Um, so they're just a bit like snuffly, maybe. I, I don't know. But I'm going to hopefully uh, bring, some, bring some happiness and have a fantastic time. So let's get this show on the road. Which brings me to my first thing. I am at, um, oh, it is incredible what I'm looking at. You will not believe it. It is the Helsinki Cathedral. Look at that. It looks like a little palace. There's also a little monument. What I like about this area is that the area is so, like, big and open. And you can just literally, you've got loads of room to just do random runs. Do you know what I mean? And no one bats an alley because there's loads of space. You're not going to bump into anybody. I'm going to give you a closer look. Originally, I thought that thing in the background was the cathedral. And I was a bit... Uh, I was, it was a bit of an anticlimax because I thought to myself, it looks a bit like a um, train station back at home. Anyway, let's, do the, let's get up them steps. There's a lot more than the look. It looks like from on here. It's very slippery. Whoa! I'm going to check. Look, at the, the, the steps are thick ice, so getting up the thing is pretty... It's going to be a challenge. We're ha oh, we're halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Take my... Do you know if I had a chisel? What I'd love to do, all this ice on the floor, I'd love to just like spend a bit of time just chiseling under it. I feel like it'd be very therapeutic. It's really dangerous. You don't want to come here with the bends, but look how high up we are now. 
and you can there is a big wall you can go all the way around it which is pretty cool it's almost just having a fag cathedral that's no good is it oh you can i think you can actually get in you can actually get in look fag in it right outside the cathedral don't they have any shame someone someone's forgot to put the the lid on the uh, biscuits in ginger nuts will be going off what they smell smell it smells nice there's the vicar that's the priest all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small hi love you okay oh, no chats <laughs> All things bright and wonderful, the Lord God gave them all. It's real good, isn't it? Because when you sing in here, it echoes, but chandeliers are beautiful. Why is it always me? As I was walking out, it's, it's real quiet in there and everyone's like whispering to each other. And for some reason, I take it upon myself to put where I want to go next into my Apple Maps while I'm in there in silence, not thinking and everyone's just like whispering and being real polite and then my phone just randomly goes start in walking directions to Diagon Alley it's not called Diagon Alley by the way it's called Van Hugh Hall Alley or something which means Old Town Market so we're going to go to the market see if it's open and if, if it is open see what's crackalacking in there is there anything nice see you later Kath <laughs> Kath's uh, the cathedral by the way bye Kath Big boy, yeah. That is a small hotel. Small? Yeah. Really? That is a four part Norwegian salmon. They are small. Oh, that's a small one. Yeah. It how big? How big's the big one? Uh, the wild salmon. It could be three, four times that big. Really? Yeah. I won't fancy eating one of them. I won't be able to fit it down me. <laughs> In these places, there's always like the kit, same kind of stuff. You always get the meat and stuff. Um, like it, they all sell the same kind of the same kind of things apparently um finland or helsinki is famous for rye bread do you know there's that real dry bread like that they're not bringing much to the table with rye bread are they although it does like smell of chinese takeaway in it so I'm, i think i saw some spring rolls or something up here maybe there's a little chinese stamp that we can grab grab something and i was right came across a little spring roll stand and uh, they, did, they did 10 for 6 euros, 10 mini spring rolls, which I don't think that's too bad price. There was some octopus around the corner. Um, was gonna tr was gonna try that, then I saw the price, half my budget, gone in the air, don't think so, suckers. Hey, with it, the jackpot. So they've, they've put them in, in, oh no, they're not that crispy. They're a bit soggy, to be honest with you. But, served them up with a little sweet chilli dip or something like that, so don't mind if we do, check them out. Oh. The warm on the outside and ice cold on the inside. The real stale and like the real stale and soggy, as if they've been in that thing for about five years. I really don't like them, but now I've got to eat all ten because otherwise I'll feel rude. And I'm putting them in my pocket because when I put that sausage in Germany in my pocket, it ruined all the inside of my coat with the curry. So I'm just gonna have to man up and get through them, and then we're out of here out of this place thanks for them love there was lovely lovely just filled the spot yeah filled the spot in my pocket i had to bandage them up and i'm gonna put them in the bin i couldn't make my way through it but i couldn't be rude on the on the same i'm sorry mate sorry getting in the way aren't i <laughs> do you not want me in it <laughs> I'll let you get a proper one now. <laughs> oh, no. Say that again. I nearly went on my bum. Could you do one for me now while you wave? <laughs> oh, we do have fun. So I was going to show you this ship because it's cool, but I've just realised it's on complete thick ice. It's stuck. 
There once was a ship that was put to sea. The name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew up that brown up sound. Oh, go, my buddy boys, blow. Oh, next stop, we're going to somewhere called the Chapel of Silence. Because I thought, if there's anywhere that's made for me, it must be the Chapel of Silence. <laughs> I've just come across all these, like, Teletubby mountains, like Teletubby houses. But obviously, they're made, they're made out of brick, but they're caked in snow. But I don't know. I think you know what I'm thinking, don't you? I think you know what I'm thinking. This is the biggest one. Is this one behind me? I think you know what I'm thinking. impossible to get up that thing it's really fun how thick the ice is like on the floor the ice is like that thick probably just never clears up but look you can do really good like skids all the time there's no one else around skidding though there must there must be like used to it i'm making the most of the ice went i didn't snow in england yet come on the ice the ice man ice ice baby dun 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 Baby, dun, 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 dun. I think we've found our chapel of silence. So we best calm down and be quiet. Oh, don't hold the door for me, will ya? Oh, and again. You might realise that that was pretty difficult for me. I can't take it serious, like everyone being silent and just like looking straight <laughs> and being so serious. <sighs> anyway, we've done it now. <laughs> <laughs> And you've probably worked out what I'm not happy with now with mucked up again today. I needed to charge my phone because I can't check into my place for a tiny bit longer. So I thought, you know what? I love a coffee. It's cold outside. I'll sit in that one there where I can see the snow falling while I'm drinking it. And when I looked on the coffee menu, there was only tea, kaku, matcha latte and chai latte. And I thought, I thought matcha latte was a caramel thing. Turns out I'm wrong, because that looks like I've got a spinach coffee. Which weirdly tastes okay, even though it's turned my teeth green. Right, I have drank my cabbage coffee, and um, I'm super excited for this part of the episode. Not because I'm heading to warm, because I am really excited to show you the room that we've got booked. So we have gone back to our roots. We're back on the Airbnbs, but this Airbnb is slightly different. So if it's anything like the pictures, I am sleeping in a jungle room, but let's have a look around this room because we are nearly there. there though because the heating is like a million degrees and it's just so cozy and because i've only had like three hours sleep in the last 24 hours i'd, I'd have bobbed off we're gonna get some food and then i think we will get an early night because tomorrow there is an awful lot on the agenda hey
Boxers give me a wedgie when that happened. The old belly's rumbling. I'm looking forward to getting some grub down me. I wanna take my horse to the hometown road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I've just come into a really posh Italian and I've taken the hat that I've had on all day. So I've got hat hair, I've got a tracksuit on, bag our shoes, and I must be the scruffiest person in here. But the real winner is me because the food has just come. All my starters just come. Um, I'll show you my starter and I'll, and I'll show you my main when it's here. But check it, this bad boy out. Ooh. Now, oh, it's basic, by the way. I don't want to build it up too much. Basic, but very nice. Oh. In that restaurant I was just in there, when I went in there was two police officers eating, then they went, then another two police officers came in, and then they went, and just as I was leaving, another two came and sat in, and they all sat at the same table and didn't pay. So I don't know if I don't know if like that restaurant I've been in is like the mafia or something, or the contracts they've got contracts with the cops where they can just go in and get free food. God knows. It was a bit of a strange going on. I was being very observant. We're going to a theatre museum and our Uber ride is outside. So we're ready to get on our way. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Just going to the theatre museum. Just to see how that is, to be honest with you. Have you ever been there? You're just driving past, yeah? I suppose you will with your job. Yeah. You've been busy today? Uh, just standard, yeah? yeah. Ah, I don't blame you. Take it easy. Take it easy, eh? Yeah. I'm just spending my day today going from A to B and B to C, C to D. You know, E to yeah. F. <laughs> you got places lined up? Well, I'm going to go here and then I've got a few other things later today, yeah. Right. So I'm looking to get stuck into them. I think I might have to knock the Scottish voice on its head because when I stopped rolling with the camera, I kept forgetting I was Scottish and he kept looking me in the rear view mirror as if I was some kind of freak. <laughs> to try any of these outfits on but I can't see any cameras and my man seems to attend his back so it's his fault. Looks pretty good doesn't it? Oh what's that one? Maybe, maybe you are allowed to try these on. Oh shit someone's coming. Ah. Some of the drawings in here from, from, from the world of performing arts are just absolutely mind-blowing and stupendous. I'm so glad my feet have brought me to somewhere just so cultural and admirable. A true place in um, Helsinki history, for sure. There's these wheels here. And you know when we go to museum, we love these kind of, we love these wheels, but we, I have no idea what any of them say because literally everything is in Finnish. Which takes me to my like, next line. I'm probably, not, it's probably not going to be long before I'm finished in here. <laughs> this bit up here says, let Mrs. Fortuna um, pick you a script in the play and you can start writing your presentation. So um, I'm going to skip the writing the presentation part, but I do want to know what play I'm destined to um, what role I'm destined to play and it is the Vakava. So I'm gonna to have to end the video now because what I need to do is I need to go back onto my translator and find out what Vakava is. Vakava is a serious role so I've got a feeling Mrs Fortuna as um, she's got her wires crossed so I'm gonna wave bye to her because she needs to go work on her role. <laughs> serious. <laughs> when I came in and paid to go in the um, theatre museum, 
the woman said, there's two other museums here, which one do you want to go to? And I said, the theatre museum, and I paid 16 euro. Anyway, when I came in the lift, I didn't read the lift. I just pressed zero, thinking, like, that's the bottom floor to get back out. Turns out it brought me to the photograph museum. And upstairs in the um, theatre one, I had to scan a, scan a ticket to get through some gates. This one is just free roaming, so I'm going to wear get a freebie. <laughs> don't know what this is. There's a random seat here. And some earphones. And then below me, here, there's a TV. But how do I, how do I change the channel and stuff? Am I not meant to be on here? Oh, shit. It says don't stand on it. Whoops. Shit, there's a camera as well. It says don't stand on it, I didn't know. Look. Anyway, the photos in there are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm sure that the photos in the rest of this museum are gorgeous, but I don't really have... Quickly, quick, quick. I don't really have much passion, you know, in photography, and I'm getting, gonna end up getting in trouble. How do I get out of this place? And number one, get me out. Close, close, close. There was a camera right above one of them circle ones, so not only have they seen me break a rule, they've seen me in somewhere that I haven't paid for, so I'm probably going to get charged on my way out now. Right. I'm just going to own this, I'm just going to walk out, put my shoulders high, pretend that I've not done anything wrong. Alright, I'll off I go. Thank you, love. Very, very good, thank you. Thank you. Right, cheers. Do I just use this stuff? Yeah. Is, is it this one? Oh, is it this one? Don't pull it. I'm gonna fucking get out of it. Excuse me, which door is it that you pull? These are normal. Oh, they're just normal. Oh, you push. I was pulling away. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was pulling away. You don't, you don't say that in, often, very, in public very often, do you? I was pulling away. Right, I'm out of there. You're not having any, any more of me. God, I've lost my mind a bit in there. I think I've messed up today because... Do you know, because this hat goes with my hoodie. I, well, I went with fashion over comfort and not re didn't realise yesterday just how cold it is. And I swear, I have got brain freeze just from walking because I've got a hat on and not my woolly hat. Like, my brain is, is frozen. It's hurting. <sighs> you was all probably screaming at me earlier when I was moaning about my brain brain. My brain brain? <laughs> my brain being... <laughs> cold when I had two hoods do you know what I'm just trying I'm speed walking at the minute because you see loads of people on bikes in this weather I mean I'm not even safe on my feet I'm not even safe on my feet so how these bikes don't like slip on ice and hurt themselves I'll never know this see this bike's not going at much pace but he's been he's he's been sturdy he's not um hurting himself you know I would be if that was me, I'd be on my back. Every corner I went by, 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 every corner I went round, I'd be breaking bones. But he has no fear. He's about 85. This might look like snow to you, but it is soon going to be a masterpiece. Oh, stood all where I was going to do. This is going to be harder than it looks. A little doggy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 that people from Finland are obsessed with saunas. It's like in their culture. And in this country, there's three million saunas, but there's only five million people, which is a crazy ratio. Um, apparently, 
90% of Finnish people have a sauna at least once a week and they, they have they have saunas like in the houses they don't just go to like public ones they actually have a lot of even even like apartments small places will have a little sauna in which I found which I found crazy I wish it was like that in England because I, I love a good sauna uh, I, I did like look into why the so like why they get them so often and apparently it's not just about like washing your body it's it's about cleansing your mind and so and i thought you know what? i could do with a bit of that so i have found the most um famous sauna in finland and luckily it's in helsinki i've booked myself a slot you can only book two hour slots so i've booked one and i'm gonna head down there now only problem is <laughs> this is a big problem before we go to the sauna i'm gonna have to try and find a shop with a razor and find somewhere to shave the other half of my chest <laughs> because it's gross one half is completely like like a baby's bum and the other half is like overgrown and just like long so <laughs> so we're gonna have to deal with that on our way but we are a bit pushed for time because i'm 37 minutes away from the sauna i've got a shave and find somewhere I've got to find, find a razor find somewhere to shave my chest and get there within an hour so but I reckon we can do it it's amazing amazing we're, phase one is complete I've found some razors I just need a cheap they don't do cheap disposable razors yeah five euro for four is the cheapest but it need, it needs must we need them so we've got these now we just need to find somewhere to whip off the other half of my chest as i've come out of the shop i bought my razor from there is a mcdonald's so i'm gonna pretend that i need a poop um the good thing about mcdonald's is it's one of them places you don't even really need to order anything to use the toilet she just roam in but we're outside i'm gonna pretend i need a poop go in a cubicle and, and sh sh shave it off. <laughs> Obviously the next person who goes in for a poop is going to have the feet in my chest hair, which is, isn't ideal, but I don't have a dustpan and brush and I don't have the funds to um, waste money on that just for just for a one sweep, you know? Okay, I was totally wrong about walking in McDonald's and just using the toilets. I've just come to this one and um, the they have sorry yes thank you thank you they have codes on the door i'll quite sure yeah they have, code. they have a pin code thing on the door there so when i was coming up to it it was asking for a code i just had to go to the till and ask for her to give me the code and she printed a receipt and it has the code on but then obviously I've just walked up to it and the woman's just opened it for me. But anyway, we're in our place to brave the shave. Right, so the top's off. Here's one half of my chest. And then there's the other half. Thankfully. We're gonna put it right. Before we get into the sauna. Problem is, it could probably take a while. So I'll let you come back once I'm like a plucked chicken. <laughs> I'm more or less finished. Ready to go. I also realised that my hand didn't. I had only had one hand to wax to. But we're good to get this on. Well, that is without doubt one of the most random things I've had to do ever. <laughs> the sauna in there which are really warm but there's some steps where there's some steps where you can walk down into the actual sea it is literally minus seven here today that must be horrific that bloke had ice on his hair I'm, I'm sure he was he was freezing should have really dragged him out but we'll give that a whirl as well but jesus 
there's an ice bath, and then there's that. Before coming here, I read that most people go in in the Billy Bull, but then when I walked in, everyone had trunks on. So I was quite relieved. So I got some trunks, but then when I was in the changing room, someone walked in in the Billy Bull, who had just been in in the, in the nude. It was, it was hung like hoss. It was, and I was thinking, God, thank goodness I didn't go in there in the Billy Bull. Little weasel walking in. Hi guys! <laughs> We've been in both saunas and um, I've literally whacked the temperature up on this to full so my body gets really really hot and then we're gonna go out and brave the ice water okay there it goes for the ice water look you literally go from a red hot sauna to being on this freezing cold ice path I'm not even gonna think of it the only thing that I'm thinking about that I'm really really scared about is the fact that in this water there has to be they has to be like sharks or something because look how cold it is like there must be some like icy creature that's dangerous and that's the only thing that's scaring me but we're just going to drop in and pretend that nothing's up just just forget about these creatures right <laughs> Woo! Woo! These guys only get in for about a minute. I'll, I'll stay in for 10. Oh, oh, whew. but look, look at the ice on it on here. Yeah. Look at that ice. That's how cold it is. Too much ice. Woo. Almost. Woo. Woo. Oh, wow. Oh, it makes you feel alive though. I swear to God, that getting in the. Shit. <laughs> Very cold. Oh. I'm with you. It was very cool. It was. But you you are now a hero as well. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. But it, ma it makes you feel it makes you feel alive. I swear to God, that getting in that water wasn't as bad as doing the ice bath in my back garden. I get I, I swear on my life. Look at that though. Beautiful. Lolly sauna completed it mate. I thought I'd completed Lolly Spa and then as I was walking out I came across a big restaurant. Now in an hour and a half we're going to our final thing of the night, the thing that I'm most excited for and we'll get on to that in a minute but I've not ate one thing all day which is in typical fashion I say that every time because that's what I always do. So I've just ordered the poshish Red Bull ever along with a lolly burger. Obviously I told them to take out the pickles, tomatoes and red onion, to which I got what I could only describe as a growl. So we're gonna feed ourselves, we're gonna top up the phone charge, and then we're gonna get an Uber to the ice rink, because I'm not going skating. I am going to watch my first ever ice hockey match. So I'm really excited, hoping there's gonna be loads of atmosphere there and Another thing is they're always fighting as well. So if there's a big brawl, who knows? I might get some skates on and run on in the middle of them and knock them all out, eh? I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely won't this. There's literally thousands of people cramming in, so I don't know, Helsinki must be a big team, or this must be a big game. But I definitely picked the right one because um, it's gonna be a full house. Hopefully there'll be some atmosphere in there. 
I can't wait to see like what it's all what it's all about because like I said earlier I've never been to an ice hockey game. I just imagine loads of people with firm fingers shouting, You suck, you suck. But I don't know why, because I feel like it's Americans that do do does that. Anyway, let's get inside. I literally couldn't have got a better seat for filming as well. I'm on the first row of my block. There's the ice rink in the back. I'm just there's a man on the ice at the minute with his uh, lawn mower. He, he's, he's just running around with a lawn mower, basically smoothing the ice out. I have no idea what the team's what the like nickname of the team's called. So I, I mean, I've got Skyhawks in my head so I'm just gonna cheer cheer go sky hard Well, that's period one finished. Up the Seahawks, one nil up. Um, I don't actually know how many periods there right. is. I think there's three of 20 minutes. But I tell you what, you've got to be skillful to play this. The how quick that puck moves. You've got to like have like the best like reactions in the world. I can't keep up with it just watching it. One minute, I'm, one minute, I'm watching it in this corner. And then I, I'm continuing watching it in this corner and then someone scoring a goal at the other end. I didn't even know the puck had bloody moved. It's just so like fast. So it's 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 imp it's impressed me, but I, I, I don't think I'll get into it, you know. <laughs> Young boy, that's a good set. Come on, get through the line. Scrappy one, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Three nil. Come on, the sa the Sky Hawks, uh, Seahawks. Here we go. Boom on. Hey man, what what does Boomin mean? Name of the referee. Referee. Ah, oh, the referee. And yeah, he was like, it's a 900th game of him. Ah, oh. he got flowers and everything. It's too bad that like 899 games went well, but this tonight. Oh. No, 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 no. So you're not, you're not, you're not happy with Boomin tonight. Well, like it's not, it's just like I've been, I've been like, Yeah. He said our team sucks, but they're three one up, and I'm sure I've just missed another goal. I have. It's four one. Wow, Boomin. Well, period two has ended. I thought I'd come on the concourse for a quick look around and see what's going on. And all I can see is uh, hot dogs in cups. I don't know what that what that's all about, but people have got like three hot dogs bent over in cups with a bit of Tommy K. 
so I don't know if they don't sell bread rolls here but like I say period two just finished um, one more period to go but I think the Skyhawks have got it in the bag I'm thoroughly enjoying it off back to my seat now with Noisy Bugger Full time result in the end was uh, the Seahawks or Skyhawks, I can't remember what I was calling them. Five, and the team that was playing, two points. Great game. Now it's time to see what the fans thought of the performance, okay? Worldwide. Why? 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 <laughs> the first word in entertainment. First word. Hey man, what do you think of the performance tonight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, hard to say. Hard to say, yeah. It's, uh, it was a 5-2 victory not enough for you, man? It's not a good game, but... No, but but we take the point, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, we take yeah. the point. Yeah. Thank, thank you for speaking to me, man. Thank, thank you for you. speaking. Thank you. These fans are hard to please, man. These fans are so hard to please. Like, what the heck? Hey, man, uh, will you will you speak to uh, ice hockey worldwide? Why not? Oh, yeah. What do you think of the performance tonight? Uh, well, it was a little bit a bit shaky. Shaky, yeah. yeah. The five-two victory, not enough. Yeah. What? Nah. Uh, and who's it, your favorite player for the Seahawks? I, I prefer uh, IFK, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and my favorite play, player there. Oh, uh, yeah, what's your favorite player, yeah, for, for them guys? Well, I think uh, this uh, Koivistoinen is very good. Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. well, thanks for speaking to uh, uh, Ice Hockey Worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another, another one not happy. I don't know who AFK are. I don't know if that's the team I, I think that is the Seahawks. But uh, he's obviously got not got the memo, man. Hey, guys. Will you speak to Ice Hockey Worldwide? Ice Hockey Worldwide? Yeah, it's for, for the YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's the channel? Um, YouTube channel's Ice Hockey Worldwide. Oh, all right. I'm just, uh, what's your names, guys? I'm Luca. Luca? Yeah, Jose. Jose, uh, what do you think of the performance tonight? Well, uh, pretty poor. <laughs> you're not, <laughs> you're, <laughs> ah, so you're, yeah, the, you're so, the away fan, yeah, so yeah. You, you've had an abysmal night. Yeah, we came uh, from Uvascular. Oh, so really? Yeah. How, far, how far is that? It's Three like, hours. Yeah, three hour journey so yeah. you got a three hour journey home after that loss unfortunately yeah. but i speak i've spoken to a few of the home fans they're not happy with the performance yeah there uh, have been like quite bad performances yeah well it's a, it's a, it's a shame both fans going home i'm unhappy yeah. but thank you for speaking to ice yeah, hockey worldwide yeah, take care guys safe thank journey you. home thank you, thank you. worldwide why 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 the first word in entertainment first word <laughs> oh gosh! I love ice hockey. I do like ice hockey. Ice hockey is good. To put honestly, I I, re, I I reiterate to play that you have to be so so skilled. Like literally from like ice skating's hard enough. Then to be using that puck and then to have the quick thinking in every time it comes to you. If I was playing that, I'd just be stood in the middle. Like what is going on? And even if I knew what was going on, or where that black puck was, I'd be think I'd still be stood in the middle because I'd be thinking to myself, "Don't anyone dare come anywhere near me or push me into them them walls." But it's been a fantastic experience here. Yeah, I think this has probably been the favourite thing that I've ever done on the series. Um, we're going to head back to the room now and get in that cosy room because my teeth are chattering, my hands are shaking, and I'm ready for bed. Good morning. Let's get outside. Well, we're on to our final day, and I'm quite happy, even though we've had a great, a great trip. I 
don't know, I just feel a bit like homesick in my tummy now. Do you know when you've got a bit of a knot, knot in your tummy? That's just how I feel. I feel like these three day trips, I'm a bit of a wimp. These three day trips are quite like, take it, take it out of me a tiny bit. I start missing the, the kids and carry too much. But I don't have too long before I'm heading back to the airport. We're gonna, uh, I've just seen a giant yellow M up in the sky, which means McDonald's. And when I come to different countries, I kind of love going to McDonald's still, just because on the menu they have like different things. Problem is I'm not the, uh, I'm a really picky eater, so half the stuff I don't even try anyway. But I do like to see them on the menu, but I am gonna get a few bits today that they don't have on the English menu. And we'll, uh, we'll do a little review on them. Our food's just come. You get, got a normal Coke. You don't get a lid with it here. Very strange. But they also do sweet, sweet potato fries. They smell like, do you know, I don't know if anyone, if this is just my grandma, but my grandma makes homemade chips at home with the deep fat frying pan. That's how they smell. They're unreal then. England needs to start doing them. And, um, the double cheese burgers here are it's called sour cream doubles. So it's just a normal double cheese burger. There's no onions or gherkin. I didn't even ask for that, so that's a result. Oh, there's some onions in there. But then at the bottom, a load of sour cream. Oh, let's see what this is all about. Oh, mm, that's good. So we're in agreement that England needs both the items. I am, um, when when I got in here, I was sat looking at the, out the window. I ordered my food, he said he'd bring it over, and then a booth came available, so I moved. And I just, I, before I started filming, I saw him walking with the tray, walked over there where I was sat, then started walking back there behind the counter with my food. He thought I'd done one and not paid, and he started putting my food back on the rack to give someone else, streaky sod. Anyway, leave me to eat, will ya? No as he gets. What? Look at all these nutters. Hello! Hello everyone! Hey guys, hello! Hey everyone, thanks for the sweeties! Thanks for the sweeties, guys! Hey everyone! Thanks for more sweets, thank you! Hey everyone, thank you! More sweets, please, if you got a name, thank you! Thank you! On the third day, I think we've finally figured why it is the happiest city in the world. It's certainly nothing to do with the temperature because every single day it's got colder and colder. But there is happy people that drive around on wagons dressed up as animals for in three sweeps. So I think we've cracked it. Weird place. I didn't pick up any of the sweets so I'm too cold to move. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, episode because I tell you now it's been a cold one I can barely even move my move right so I'm gonna find some locations to plop our stick it our stick it our ticket um sticker we're gonna pop our sticker on there leave our map behind and then get to the airport for a tally up of our costs and uh, to get warm and get home come on you can do it Joel you can do it, you're stronger than this. You're stronger than the cold. You're stronger than the wind. Success is a journey, not a destination. Always remember, it's in your mind. It's not in your body, it's in your mind. You can do this. Ignore the vehicles passing you by. Don't let that get into your head. Just keep taking one step at a time and you will make it. Do this for your family. Do this for your followers. I know it's hard, but it's not harder than you. This little box here, it's got loads of graffiti on loads of other stickers. You always do it on somewhere like that, just so it doesn't stand out. Like you, you won't put it in a church, you know what I mean? So there we go, we've pulled it off, exploring the alphabet, take a selfie with it and tag us in it. Worldwide, we are traveling the world. Stick it on that bad boy and then be on our way. There we go. Stuck on like glue. How funny is it no matter where I go? 
whether it's hot or ice cold, I always wear my rolled up jeans and my invisible socks. <laughs> now let's make a quick exit before they come out of that shop that's next door and do me for vandalism. <laughs> And another letter is done. Letter H is finitoed. Eight down, 18 more to go. And the good news is we are about to have our cost count up whilst we're inside. Do you know what? what is funny about that bus that I've just been on? I didn't pay, got a freebie. But the driver's doors open and the front door opens and so does the back door so you can get it on at the front where he is or at the back so i thought stuff it i'm gonna get on at the back so you can't see me get on and i just walked on and then i realized that everybody who was getting on the front wasn't even showing a ticket the odd fruit few did but he just was letting everyone walk on and then once you're on he doesn't come round and check your ticket and no one gets on to check your ticket or anything so i just got uh, right, I just got a free ride. I mean, it'd have only cost like few, four euro, but I was going to get an Uber for 30. Anyway, let's go get a seat and wrap up what has been another fantastic episode of Exploring the Alphabet. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Exploring the Alphabet. This one was really fun to film and I appreciate you watching it and I hope the viewing experience was equally as fun. So let's figure what we spent it was an expensive one i found everything about this city quite expensive from the flights in comparison to others accommodation the spends there um everything was just heightened that slightest bit more but i feel like it was a brilliant place to go and somewhere i'd have never have gone so i don't regret the spends but let's break it down so the flights was 45 pound 10 the accommodation, which was stunning, was £126.23. The parking at the uh, airport, £56.99. Stansted Airport, same place we always go, the Blue Zone. The insurance was £9.70. You'd have thought I was coming to somewhere there was a, a war. It's usually only a couple of quid. And spends in total was £280. And £60 of that was diesel. Um, I had to pay for the hockey ticket, spa entry. Um, I feel like we've done quite well with the spends. It was kind of the other stuff that was um, sent it a tiny bit through the roof. Our grand total is five hundred and eighteen pounds two pence. So it's up to you if you want to visit Helsinki. Just make sure you get your bank loan. You won't regret it though. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Please like. Please comment and share to your grandma. You know how it goes? Please come back for more. There's other letters to explore.